So this one right here is Marishi Trillo. It's got this brilliant yellow, white, and red striping. So as this ages, why it's called the Painter's Collection is each bloom is different. So you can get this yellow and white, and then you have more of a pink and red. And then as the, as the UV rays hit it, it'll turn it almost all the way pink. So it changes, and also it, it'll, it'll release clean whenever the, variety's, whenever the variety's done. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of people that are really into roses understand that, but for somebody that's never seen that, or somebody who just buys this in their first time rose garden, tell them about the significance and the value of that feature. Well, the value of that feature is that you don't have uh, the petals holding on too long where it's just kind of moldy on, onto the bud. Once it releases clean, it's gonna put energy into, not to set uh, petals, it's gonna set to another a, a stage of a flower. So, as you see right here, it already, this, uh, this one's finishing right here, and you have four or five behind it that are gonna cover it up, and it's just gonna be a bud, and it puts all the energy into these buds instead of this flower. And it's very important. It's nothing to worry about, it's natural. Uh, once this thing is, is ready to go, it'll just let, let go clean, and uh, it'll get ready for the next set of buds. So it's, it's totally normal. Uh, this variety has really nice uh, foliage. This is gonna be six through nine, does really well in the south and the west coast is getting trialed on the east uh, to northeast. So as it is right now, so how big, these will get what, five, six feet? These will get about six feet mature habit. Okay. Um, in the spring, about three three to four. And then this is also one of the ones you're talking about that's extremely uh, attractive to bees? Yes, this one does. As soon as it's opened up its stamens, bees just go, they really like all the painters because they, they open up to their, their stamens. So out of it, we've got, this is? Marisha Trillo. Then you have Mark Chagall on the end that has a, a little bit larger bloom, more petals. Peach Swirl, it's got loads of fragrance. Uh, also the bloom changes as it ages. And then Alfred Sicily, which bees attract to out of all the varieties in the garden, it's the number one uh, with per, uh, perfume breeze that it attracts bees. Very, very important that we, we like to see and bees then one in the garden. Um, and then Camille Passaro right here is an almost thornless variety uh, if, 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 you go, if we go over here, um, for easy care, you don't have as many petals or a, as many thorns as you can see. Like you have a couple, but you can touch this and it doesn't, it doesn't have as many thorns. We also have this one coming down the road in a patio tree form. And uh, the reason why is because of its habit. It's just a wonderful habit, but the coloring is more yellow and you get that fade to almost a pink. So it just changes color. It's very unique. There's not a lot on the market that are like it. Six to nine. Uh, this one's going to be seven through nine right now because it's a new introduction it's in 2020. So we need, we're still testing it in different regions. But as of right now, it's a great west and south coast variety. Can go up the east coast to zone six, but then once it taps out to then until we get some more research behind it. So you think about as far as height though, it's probably what, four or five feet versus maybe six? Yes, this is going to be a, a smaller compact plant in your garden. Compared to over there, you're seeing a bigger shoots, bigger foliage, uh, a shorter plant. So this one would be considered close to Alfred Sicily over there. So three to four foot in the spring, might get five, five feet at max. Mauricio Trillo, you're gonna get about six foot. And Mark Chagall, you're already getting about four foot. So you're gonna get five to six feet as a mature habit. And there's these resistance really good on this as well? Wonderful. You can see the, you can see the foliage. Uh, I would say seven out of 10 on disease resistance. Um, really glossy foliage, but the unique thing is easy prune. You can go in here and, and grab it, and some of, these, some of the roses will get you, but this rose does not. I have this one in my, on my home garden, and my wife loves it because every time it'll turn into a yellow one day, and then the next day it'll be red, and then it ages to pink, and then it'll let go clean. And you can already see it's already going through a cycle, but look at all the buds behind it. I mean, it is just loaded, loaded with blooms.